Neighbors in Racine rushed to help a family after hearing an explosion, then seeing flames. It happened at a home near 16th and Grand in Racine. Ricky Mitchell spoke to a woman who was inside that house. The fire started after fuel spilled from a gas tank. A woman we spoke to who was visiting her family on the lower unit of the home said she didn't hesitate a second, just grabbed her granddaughter and ran. I heard a real big, loud, um, like a bang, a boom. I don't know what it was. I thought it was thunder. A rainy Saturday afternoon turned chaotic when Frances Moronis and her family heard an explosion. And the neighbor across the street gave me this jacket because I didn't have, I didn't, we didn't grab nothing. I told her we don't have time. We should just go because I saw the walls, you know, bending like they were going to fall in. Fire officials say a 50 year old man and his two sons were replacing a fuel pump on this car that required them to remove the tank. Because of the rain, they took the tank inside, but one of them slipped, causing fuel to spill out. The occupants described that within 15 seconds, they had a big boom and a fire. Captain Craig Ford with Racine Fire says all three floors of the home caught fire and burned away the stairs to the second floor, trapping two men and a three-year-old girl. One neighbor ran over with a ladder, helping the three people down to safety. Without the help of the neighbor to the west side, those guys are stranded here with fire behind them in the house holding a three year old girl and deciding whether they should jump, uh, you know, 12 or 15 feet. The older man was taken to the hospital with burn injuries on his legs. Everyone else is safe. It's encouraging to see the neighborhood help each other out. Six people total live in the home, according to fire officials. The Red Cross is helping them tonight as all of the units are unlivable. Reporting in Racine, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4.